that's uh, Trey, like I was saying, uh, that's a good team you just beat, and I was really intrigued by how you guys would come back and you know whether that win would jumpstart you or not. And it's good to see you guys you know, build on that. Definitely. Um, we never got too high, we never got too low. We just really fought all week in practice and just really preached enthusiasm and joy. And we came out with the two wins with those two attitudes, and we got two wins back to back. And you were able to finish the games off. It's been a little bit of a problem for you guys this year. Uh, you know, what's been the difference between the, the games where you couldn't finish them off and, and this week? Um, I think it's just growth as a team. Um, I know we have a lot of young guys and a lot of transfers and a lot of just people in new spots. Um, I think it's just you have to take time and you know just progress and just get through those you know freshman mistakes and. As time goes on, you start to see less and less of those mistakes. And as you saw tonight, we finished the game really well. Uh, to be honest, though, when you won the other night, was, was you able to kind of to breathe easier? Yeah, <laughs> I slept a lot better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rick, you were saying the other night, it was just nice to see the joy on their faces. And now they backed it up with a real quality win against a really good team. Um, that's got to be rewarding because you guys are taking your lumps. It is. And, and, and we've talked all along. Certainly, there's been frustrations, but all along we've talked about where we think we can be and the things that we have to do consistently, not just some of the time. And I think you're always going to have mistakes. And I've never seen a perfect game against you know the best teams in the, the country or the world make mistakes. It's how you respond and not letting them compound. And I think we had once, maybe twice tonight that we compounded mistakes, but we were able to stop runs in. We made some good stops. Rebounding uh, has been a big difference, too, where um, we've taken advantage of missed shots. Uh, we had some late where they got a couple uh, putbacks later in the game. But uh, for the most part, I thought we did a really good job there. And you know, we out-rebound them by nine and third game in a row that we've dominated the boards. And, and, uh, and we answered runs. Uh, we haven't always done that. Um, that's uh, that's that's a sign of maturity and a sign of confidence, like Trey was mentioning, knowing that if okay made this mistake, let's execute here. And that's a team. I mean, they can put pressure on you probably better than any other team. And there's, you know, you look at a Northern Michigan that does a good job with that too. Uh, but Wayne State's as good as anybody at putting pressure. And our guys, you know, Trey got a couple big time dunks on. Uh, not fighting the pressure and basket cutting it, and uh, we followed up with keeping our composure on good, really good passes, and and uh, and made them pay for those. Well, you're playing the lead all day too. That's that helps too. Because if you the games get worn on, you're kind of coming back, you're fighting back. That Some of them, but we've had yeah. games that we've even been up at halftime or have had leads that yeah. we just haven't been able to stop is the run. Oh, I think absolutely. I mean, I'm I'm looking at the clock. They went on a run and got it to six, mm -hmm. and it, the mental side is interesting because if you had just gotten a six point lead, you feel really good about that six point lead. But when you have a ten point lead and they score two in a row, now all of a sudden it seems like there's panic. And I'm, I'm my thought was, and I didn't end up saying it in the timeout, but is fellows, if we had this six point lead right now. We'd feel really good about it, mm -hmm. but because of what happened, so now let's just we stop the run. Let's get this thing going. Um, but I didn't feel like I needed to say it, and I could see it in the guys' eyes. The difference was their body language. We talk a lot about the body speaks, and uh, you know you could see even before I said anything, there are guys in the huddle that are saying and showing leadership about, okay, that's over. Let's go. We're all right. Just meet the pass. You know. Uh, all the things that we would normally say. So I ran out of things to say in timeout. <laughs> it's remarkable how similar all the stats are, the team stats. It's like mirror images. I guess that goes to show you when you guys take care of the ball. You, play like you can't even play with one of the best teams. Mm -hmm. like we act right, Trey? Right, right. You know, you look at the free throws. That's one of the things that we shoot 80%, 81% from the line. Um, so that, that was big. That's one of the differences. Uh, they did get us on points off of turnovers. Most of those coming at the very end there. And, uh, but we got them on the second effort points, and we were leading second our fast break points against the team that fast break because of the turnovers that we got in the first half. So um, those were big. And 
you know, David Yellenick has struggled a little bit. Charlie Ryan hasn't played a whole lot. And, and we had three guys now that we feel like, depending on how they're playing or matchups, can. David made, what, three big buckets in the lane um, that were huge for us in the post. Jerry, what do you want to accomplish? There's a lot of season left. That's the beauty of it. You're starting to play better. you got a lot of games left. What do you hope to see this team accomplish the rest of the way? Um, just keep the momentum going um, and keep growing mentally. Uh, it's very challenging for a young team to, you know, keep the momentum up when we see you start to win, but also staying disciplined in practice every day and staying focused. Um, I don't want guys to start, you know, getting, you know, cocky. But at the same time, we need to stay confident. So definitely just keep the momentum going and staying disciplined. Okay, good luck next week. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.